Greet you all in the highly exalted, wonderful, precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome to the book of Romans. Turning our Bibles to Romans chapter 13 and verse 8. Let no debt remain outstanding except the continuing debt to love one another. For he who loves his fellow men has fulfilled the law. Apostle Paul is talking about such intricate, real, practical issues. And he says that let no debt remain outstanding. In fact, we ought to live debt-free lives because we ought to totally belong to the Lord. The Bible says that if you are freed men, if you are free men, go don't go back to slavery. Many people have been freed from sin, but they haven't free, been freed from financial debts. And if it was a sudden emergency, and if it was something that was life-saving or something that was really essential, then that's a different thing. And we need to pay it off as early as possible just to have an extravagant lifestyle, not being content with uh, the income that we have or not being really content with uh, what the Lord has given us is going to lead us into a very, very horrible pitfall. And uh, uh, Paul writing Timothy says, those who want to get eager pure themselves with many griefs. How true it is that uh, just because we want to make extra money or just because we uh, want to live extravagantly many a times we very unfaithfully dispense what the Lord gives us we're accountable to it and uh, uh, we, we we cannot live in extravagance at the cost of somebody's money. You now, when we take a loan, it's somebody else's money, and you have to return it on time. Many people miss on their word when it comes to repayments. Many people, uh, most people, take this debt to be. A very very light issue which is not constant living in debt is not a right thing to do because it shows that we aren't either living a life of contentment or we aren't working as hard as we should to be able to make ends meet so both ways we're living on somebody else you know uh, abraham told uh, the king of sodom and gomorrah that sodom that i will not even take a thong of a saddle because tomorrow you may say it's i who made abraham rich so we in order to give god all the glory we ought we ought to work hard and pay off debts, live on our own money, and so that every way God gets all the glory. And, um, learn to live a life of contentment, and if you are not able to meet our needs, then obviously it means that we have to do and walk an extra mile to be able to make our ends meet. And not just that, when we have a debt that is clear we are people of integrity and it shows our spiritual virtue and value and then he says but then always uh, be united to each other in love this is one thing that we always need to be giving to others we are indebted we might not be indebted financially but only indebted in love. Gracious Heavenly Father, thank you that you want us to live debt free lives. Help us to follow the principles of thy word, being content and working hard so that 
we will not fall into these traps. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you.